Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Today's topic is differentiation 15.2. In 15.2, we have the power law. Like, uh, like after the simple differentiation, we are moving a little forward. Power law. What is power law in 15.2? Uh, I just give an example to differentiate with respect to x. This equation, 3x squared plus 7 whole power is 5. Like this is, uh, we have to use the power law here. So, first the power law, this p always differentiate with power, multiply by without power. This is very important thing to understand that we differentiate here, like here, differentiate with power, multiply times differentiate without power. So, when we want to differentiate this with respect to x, I will write the same thing with respect like d upon dx, the whole value with power, multiply, and d upon dx without power 5. So we, like normally we don't need to write it actually, but when we write is better, otherwise we can do it directly. So, when we do the differentiation, the whole bracket will be considered like one base. So one base means it can be like this, like when we have differentiation of this and we want to differentiate this. So what to this whole base will, re will remain the base. 5x power is 4. 1 power is reduced. The base will remain the base. So same thing is here. The whole power means this, the whole bracket will be the base. So now, if this is the base, this will remain. 5 will become the coefficient. The base and the power will reduce by 1. This is 4. Multiply by the simple differentiation we do, uh, 3 times 2 is like 6x plus 0 is only 6x. Now, after simplification with 5 and uh, 6, the right answer is 30x, dx squared plus 7 whole power is 4 at this time. This is the like uh, the first thing, this whole power. Sometimes we have the question like uh, in radical form, for example, here. Differentiate with respect to x, but we have an under root. This under root, be careful, we have a fixed method here. Like uh, first we write with root and then without root, like with power and without power. So I hope that you remember in the first video of 15.1 how we differentiate this. How we differentiate this. This differentiation is fixed. I told you just, just learn by heart. This is fixed 1 upon 2 under root. This is fixed. We cannot change it. So when I do the differentiation of this by using the radical way, what I will write? 1 upon 2 under root x means under root the whole value. Multiply. Now, this is very important. This will remain 1 upon 2 under root the whole value. Now, without under root is the 6x. And when we simplify 2 and uh, 6 is becoming was 3. 3 times 1 is 3x upon under root 3 square plus 7. And that's we have done it. So this is the way we can like understand uh, the power law 15.2 is very simple. I would like to do some examples here with you. Uh, in examples, when you see like, uh, uh, I will not write like d upon dx with like, I'm writing only one and multiply by d upon dx with x plus two. Okay. This 5 will become the coefficient and the whole bracket I have to copy and this 5 will become 4 multiplied by x differentiation is 1 plus 0. So, five, 2 differentiation is 0. So, 5 times 1, the final answer is this we have done. Okay. Uh, B part, uh, I would like to do B part here. Like uh, what we do in B part, the 4 will become the coefficient and power will reduce by 1. Is 3 multiply. What's the differentiation of 2x minus 1? 2x is only 2 and minus 1. So, the right answer is 8 2x minus 1. Okay, when thus we have done. So, like here uh, we have this part is E is important. Like I would like to do. Uh, when I do the differentiation, 4 will become the coefficient and the power is reduced by 1. I will copy the whole thing. And the whole thing, and then this will be multiply. Now, inside the bracket, you have 2 differentiation is 0, minus 3 to the 6, minus 6x. When we simplify, it's coming 24x with negative sign, and 2 minus 3x whole square power is given. So, this is the way you can do it. If we do a question number 2, then 2a part, like this is the same thing, this is very important. This question we have in the exam, and 
the students were not able to do this because when you just think about this part, the power is one. Okay, this a part I had to move this up. B minus four x whole power is minus three. Now, simple with the distribution, three times three is minus nine. And power is reduced by one means minus three reduced by one is minus three minus one is minus four. Multiply by only bracket is three differentiation is zero and four next differentiation is minus four. Minus minus plus nine times four is thirty six. And your answer is four x power is minus four. If you want to give answer positive, is up to you. Thirty six divided by three minus four x power is four and that's good. What about b part is like very important when because we have done this minus three is a power here, but here the students get confused. Two x plus one seven power is minus one. Now it's very simple. When you do the differentiation, is minus four one multiplied by four is minus four. I will copy the whole bracket and power reduced by one means minus two times this two x plus seven differentiation is only two and seven is zero. So when we simplify four times two. Is minus a two x plus seven and minus two and when you want to give the answer positive is up to you. you can do it. We have also many questions like the gradient and the tangent. I will discuss the whole five fifteen by one to fifteen by five in the end after like uh, these three videos. So see like this is the same thing the case two I discussed this a part when you have this differentiation two x minus three. First, we do one upon two under root. Just copy the whole thing first. Multiply. What's the difference between the bracket now? It's under root. Only two. Now simplify. Two to cancel out. The right answer is one upon two under root two x minus two. If you do like differentiation, I would like to do b part. Okay, b part one upon two. Just write this first. Multiply. Well, what is the difference if 6 is 0 and minus 2 exists? Only minus 2 and minus 2 minus 2 cancel. So 1 upon this minus will remain there. 6 minus 2x. So this is the way like we can do and uh, this is very simple. So this was 15.2 case 2 how we like work with differentiation in power law when we have some power. So I hope this, uh, this video is useful for you. If you think yes, please subscribe my channel, like my video. And thank you so much. Have a nice day.